Azara, let's do this together. See how we sound like. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Good, Good morning, morning, everyone. And thank you so much for joining Good morning, us. everyone. And thank you so much for joining us again. This is at home as Foxy and Baby. You're in the Situation Room. I think that was a little bit crazy. I think we're in sync. <laughs> I am obviously like police. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Well, you seem really happy. Yeah, I'm, sorry, I'm very happy because finally, after seven months, we have spring. Oh, seven months of dead. I know it's about time. But you know what? It's not like we're gonna get spring, it's gonna be like plus 40. It's either minus 40 or plus 40. Nothing in between. Nothing in between. Nothing. Nothing. It's like a woman's mood. One day she's sad. What I mean, one minute she's uh, sad, one minute she's happy, and like, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Insane. Insanity. Insanity. But uh, anyways. So, little Miss Foxy, are you ready for today's show? Yes, I'm ready. What's the question today? We have received a question from a young man. And the, how do you know? How do you know the person who sent your question is a young man? Maybe it's an old man. And how, how do you know? to be polite. Not that. So what? Let's, do these people have a name? I'm not gonna give their names. Well, you know, it's, it's, why do you care if we have received a question from a young man? <laughs> and, like, what's his name? Fernando? No. Roberto? No. Alejandro? Ricardo? <laughs> what is it? No! <laughs> okay, what's the question? What's the question? Now this young man wrote in saying, Little Miss Foxy, do you spend your time with men or women? Or both? I suppose what he means is like, do you have, do you, is, are your friends mostly men or women? And why? Young man, old man, but uh, I have to say, number one, uh, number one, it's none of your business like, who I hang out with, and uh, <laughs> well, that's that's not very nice. <laughs> you can't do that with your audience. <laughs> I'm just come on now, come on. I'm being a joker, you know. I that's what I do. I joke. I I like to make people laugh. But uh, don't worry, uh, let's call you Roberto. Maybe you Fernando by the end of this show, I'll we'll call you Fernando. Um, very interesting question, uh, let's call you young man, uh, Ricardo. I mean, what? Fer okay, Fernando. Um, a young man, when I was younger, I used to spend a lot of time with uh, women. But now that I'm older, I, I noticed that... Um, uh, well, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I noticed that, uh, uh, you know how these gurus say the vibrational frequency, the vi this is my vibrational frequency, <laughs> does <it laughs> well, my vibrational frequency in your face, baby, uh, vibrational frequency doesn't quite uh, match, um, Respectful. I, 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 I'm very. Uh, I, I honor. Him. I respect women very, very much, and um, I will do anything for them if they need help. Now, sometimes they don't get me um, at first, and then later on, they're like, "Oh, I mean that my phone. You know, my phone, the Rolls Royce that I have. 
It doesn't stop ringing. Like uh, every Friday, oh folks, can you come out? We had a really hard, hard, <laughs> very difficult week. We need, we need someone to make us laugh. Can you come over? Can you come over? Uh, it's like a booty call. <laughs> no, I'm very busy. I can't. Sorry. Um. my time but men these days guy friends now uh, young man Fernando whoever you are let, let me give you a little bit of history about women and please open your eyes maybe your third eye or your ears just listen Roberto Fernando whoever you are just listen to me very carefully now you have to understand uh, the reason uh, throughout the centuries, the reason where women were put down so much are they used to um, burn witches and stuff like that. And first of all, the witches are uh, very, very um, uh, uh, well wise and uh, educated women. Now the, the reason people used to do that obviously, or mostly men, it's because uh, they know, all you men know, how powerful women are. You just know and they're afraid. That's why they used to put them, and they still do. I mean, right now they say things have changed. I personally think it's all sugar coating. Um, yeah, this, yes, women can vote, blah, blah, blah. But still, we all know what's underneath it all. Now. The reason, like I said, women were put down so much throughout history is because they were, they're afraid of women, because women are very powerful. They're extremely intuitive, especially when it's that time of the month. Oh, if they cast a spell on you, baby, forget the doghouse. Forget the doghouse. You might as well in the West on a coffin or a casket, okay? Forget it. You'll never see the daylight uh, and the hell will break loose so women are very powerful and therefore women uh, men are afraid that's why they used to you know do um, i mean they still do in some ways and uh you know don't want some a lot of men don't treat women quite right stuff still and um so that's that okay so go think about it and you know what i have never thought yeah. I mean, your mind is unbelievable. Oh, well, thank you very much. Thank you. At least someone noticed my uh, geniusness. <laughs> geniusness. At least someone noticed. <laughs> but um, that's what I think. That's my perspective. I could be wrong, but I, I'm, I'm usually right. <laughs> My my ego is unbelievable. Uh, uh, so, um, uh, young man, the reason, uh, for instance, let me let me give you a few examples. Let's just say, um, you know how women go out, a girl's night out. <laughs> you know there's gonna be a massive shift in the planet when they all go out, like hell will break loose. Now, when they, or let's say I, I've been in that circle now. Uh, let's just 